We're getting some beautiful okay. the, uh, piece that we're gonna put together for uh, Tele Telemundo 51. All right, you guys make sure you go there and check it out, Telemundo 51. And here's the reporter. Hi. Hi. I can still hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to be here, Miami Police Department MPD. I love it. I love this unit. I love working with you guys. And check us out very soon at Telemundo 51. Mm -hmm. Madrugadores. Hashtag Madrugadores T51. Así que los espero a todos. Right, Nick? Exactly what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys check it out. We'll put the link down below. All right. Now I gotta act like I'm working. I am working. <laughs> All right, guys, what you just saw was in an interview that was done in our office by a local news station. They heard about the vlog, and it was our first TV interview ever. Yes, 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 yes. So as you saw at Ultra, there was a lot of officers there doing a lot of different things. There were some officers directing traffic, some officers providing security. There were some officers that were in the boats. Those officers were all there on something called an off-duty. Off-duty means that they are not on regular patrol. When an officer is done with his shift, his regular shift, he has an option of working extra called off-duty. We have a unit that's specifically assigned to coordinating these events such as Ultra, and Calle Ocho. And today, we're gonna to be covering the Heat playoff game and show you how special events coordinates an event such as that. It's important to understand that when we work special events, we're not being paid by the city of Miami. We're being paid by whoever puts on the event. For Ultra, Ultra is the one that hired us, so they pay for our services. Got it? Good. Now let's go Heat. The Heat is on. <laughs> Captain's on deck. Captain's on deck. Officer Condor, the man I was talking about earlier. This is the man that sets it all up right here, right here. We're gonna get the patch, we're gonna get the patch. Where you work at? Sweetwater. Sweetwater, okay, you're out here helping out. Yes, sir. And another Sweetwater, what's going on? More Sweetwater, 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 Sweetwater. The heat game needs a certain amount of officers to work a heat game. So if they cannot fill all the spots needed, they reach out to other agencies, our neighboring agencies, to help out and fill those spots and offer any uh, positions available to those agencies. Right now we have Sweetwater, which is just out of our jurisdiction. They're here to help out and fill some of those vacancies that are not filled in the heat game. So um, also throughout the event, we have uh, special officers assigned to undercover uh, details, and these are their shoes. Guys, if you don't know the celebrity here, Detective Bosch from the first 48, you guys know this face. How can you forget that face? How can you forget that face? Guys, listen up, listen up, get to the roll call. Two, Gomez. Three, Rodriguez. Officer Frazier, so what are they doing right now? Great. Roll call, making sure we are where we're supposed to be and where we're going to be. Okay, so they're giving us our post. Right. Frazier. Here. All right, so he just got his unit number. And they are the Roman, Roman Gate 3 and then Section 311. We're in the game. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's all good. So like Officer Frazier said, they get their post, they get their unit numbers, they get their pre-assignment and during assignment. There's a pre-assignment is usually outside the arena because officers are needed inside the arena during the pre-assignment. The officer is needed outside to get all the attendees in, all the people that are attending the game. They make sure they get in safely. And then during assignment is inside usually. They also have some officers posted up outside um, just to, as security purposes but the officers inside, also security purposes. So one of our main goals out here is to get everyone into the arena safe 
So that's why you have officers out here on the corner posted up, making sure that the pedestrians are coming safe, they're not crossing when they're not supposed to be, so they don't get hit by traffic. This is Miami, there's a lot of traffic out here, especially behind us, is the port of Miami. A lot of people coming and going uh, on cruise ships and whatnot. So officers out here, free game to make sure that everyone's getting in safely. All right, so not only the police are here, but American Airlines hires a private security company to do some of the checks here. As police officers stand by behind them, um, security's extra tight. You have the metal detectors here, and they're also um, scanning metal detectors on the body, as well as doing bag checks. You're in the vlog now, Miami Police. Miami Police vlog. Hey, let's go heat, Power 96 morning show. Go, baby. Oh, what's going on? All right, as you see, we have some of our resources out here. The City of Miami Police Department bomb squad truck is out here, posted up and on standby. We're inside, we're down on the uh, floor side. The players are out on the floor and they're practicing, but we cannot show that. We wanna play nice, we wanna play by the rules. The NBA has requested that we do not show any of their players and we will not. But uh, we're down here. The vlog is about what we do as police officers here at a game like this to ensure that everyone enjoys the game and be, remain safe. Retired Lieutenant Behar. Lieutenant Behar. How you doing? And that's about that's pretty much it. <laughs> he's here and he's now the security consultant for the AAA Arena, correct? Yes, correct. Awesome. So even though we're officers of the law, we need these exclusive VIP backstage passes to gain access to some areas that are, are generally not allowed to the public at all. So the heat. Got us these, thank you very much. All right guys, so at the AAA Arena, they have their own K9 unit here with a couple K9 handlers. What, what are we stepping for? Explosives. Explosives, okay. So this is a uh, bomb dog. Explosives detection. All right. And that's Kai. Kai? That's Kai's bomb dog. The pretty boots. Um, behind us is where we take our prisoners that we get here at the heat game. Right now, there's a subject for custody. We got some undercover officers in there. I cannot show their faces, but they're back there, and uh, we take our prisoners. the heat talent comes through and the heat performers come through and, and matter of fact look we got Bernie here on the Miami police block that's right was that Bernie yep he said to follow us on YouTube oh and he's tickling my ear <laughs> thanks Bernie Bernie's a man oh yeah high <laughs> five all day <laughs> my man Bernie So guys, we're backstage, we're VIP, but there's a catch. They assigned us a babysitter, making sure we don't do anything we're not supposed to do. So meet our friend Cassie. And I noticed as Cassie's showing us around, she had this bling on and I had to get in on this right here. Take a look at that thing. Hold on, let's do it. What year is that, Cassie? 2013. 2000, damn, get that camera. Damn. It's a nice ring. Can I get one of those? No. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, right now the game started and very shortly after there's going to be officers coming inside to supplement the officers that are already inside so there will be more officers inside and there will also be officers that are going to stay outside on their traffic post the whole time. So it's kind of like uh, the majority of the officers are needed inside during the game so the majority will be inside. All right, we're up here with fourth level security. I got my man, Officer Walla. from 
sweet water. All right, man. Good looking out. Thanks for keeping us safe up here. All right. Keep your eyes out. You're the man. Yeah, we're going to Congratulations, guys. Thank you, thank you. Big shout out. Congratulations, Thank you, thank you. You guys, take it easy. All right, how do you? It's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to Cassie. <laughs> thank you so much. You're so Appreciate welcome. Pleasure meeting you for you guys. All right. Thank you. All right. Woo! Good for you. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. So just so you know, we do have officers inside on the floor protecting the players. Um, it's just that they are strict about the videoing of the game and videoing inside the bowl area. So that's what uh, the issue was with the vlog. If you wanted to see the Heat game, you can go to any of the sports channels. This is more about how we as officers handle a playoff game and show you a little bit of what we do and what the special events do, how they coordinate uh, large events such as uh, heat playoff games. All right guys, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell everyone, Mommy Police Vlog on YouTube, we're doing new things, and we will see you next vlog. How do you? What's up guys? I was like, oh, okay, end of the vlog. And then I forgot to tell you what happens at the end of the night. So I'm driving home and I'm gonna tell you what happens at the end of the night. At the end of the night, all the officers come back outside and help everyone cross the street and get back out until the arena empties and the crowds dissipate. The officers will stick around. They'll get the all clear from the special events coordinator. And then they make their way home at the end of the night. Again, my bad, I forgot to put that in. Um, had a long day today. Had the interview early in the morning. Was editing all day. And then now, headed home. My feet hurt. So, adios guys.